You know, long me not forward, I'm only a 13 year. Because them they love me in a prison around there. No, I'm not care what they want to say. If I'm not touch me, I'm good. That is it. No, you know, dead, no, no, no hype. Blessed day, my people. So, in today's video, we're going to talk about Shorty exposing dead people, trying to get a hype off her. And when we say dead people, we're not talking about people who literally lost their life. But Shorty basically, I say some people where I look a hype off her and she not give them no clout, she not revive the dead. Also, we're going to talk about Bounty Killer, who is set to donate some money to fellow musician Lieutenant Stitchy. And of course, you know, Stitchy is currently hospitalized as it. Also, we're going to talk about some good news as it relates to dancehall artist Bojo Bantan whose Canadian visa has officially been reinstated as my people. Also we're gonna talk about Futa Hype taking credit for MC not forgetting book by Cartel for Freedom Street concert. Also we're gonna talk about D Angel responding to Jamaicans bashing her after she showcased her lingerie collection. Also we're gonna talk about Vibes Cartel pulling up in Mobile. I think this is the first time Cartel got Mobile since release from prison. So you don't know the people them down there glad for see man things. So of course we we'll have some footage for Showing you see my people. Also, I'm going to talk about the JCF responding to Cornerstone Boss, who reveals that a man took advantage of him when he was 14 years old. Also, I'm going to talk about the JLP exposing Vibes Cartel attorney Isat Buchanan. And basically, they must say, yo, they must burn out the PNP then, because they must say, Isat, he have a criminal past, so he shouldn't even in a politics and them thing there. That's basically what they must say. So, I read the article and we're going to talk about it. Also, I'm going to talk about Shensia addressing the alleged note for photo of her again that was circulating on the media and also we're going to talk about Vibes Cartel telling the Dutch system to actually free up Jack Cure and also we're going to talk about Keisha Cure which is the wife of rapper Gucci Men. She's currently in Jamaica and a lot of persons feel like she's out here for actually do an interview with Vibes Cartel so I'm going to play a video where she posts and we're going to talk about it but before we're going to further into the topics don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and click the notification bell, put it on all that that way you can get notified when I post a new video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Shorty Zin. So Shorty was on TikTok live. Zin, my people. And basically she make a talk, say. She not resurrect the dead or something like that. Also, she address the people them. We are forward over there with Cartel and see them name. You don't know the bag of mix up and all them something. You see it. Shorty wanted to be known, say, when you can't draw out, no matter where you come with. You understand me? I say, so if you not look for mix up or if you not look for certain things, you might as well come off our page, basically, is what she's saying. So let me get to this video now so you can hear what she have to say. And as usual, my people, you can tell me anything about this in the comment section. You see it. Listen to this. I'm not going to see that. Trust me. One will never see that. No, I don't care what they want to say. If I'm going to touch me, I'm good. That is it. No, I'm going to be dead, no, no, no hype. I'm not raised no dead. I'm not busy when nobody wants to say about me. Oh, no, I know me. I don't care. I don't care what they want to say. I know for them who beg me, I get screenshot with them. But it's a true man, type of person for come from me and call people near me and say them shit, they come and I live for them something there. I just leave it alone. True, a real thing. No joke, I'm not, I'm not even. I'm not even going to start talking because I tell them to mankind fuck up. Mankind, and then guess what? The good of the suffer for the bad. Trust me. Anyway, Sasha, fuck what people have to say. I give a fuck about people, okay? So we don't, we're not even gonna talk about that. People do what they do best. Love mix up and love to talk. No, I'm writing them. Feel like so them can't program me. They can't program me. Or them can't get me be of a certain type of way. They will never see that. Mm, I think it's time for them to give up now. Because they now not see what they want. They need to give the fuck up. And they will never ever see that. Never, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, my people. So that's what's going on. And a whole heap of fake page there on the live. So you know, say a lot of them over there antagonize the woman and them some days it. So I guess sometimes when she talk out, you can't really blame her. Because if I say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fake page, I bring up, you know, somebody name where you probably don't want to talk about. It's like does maybe just get you out one way as it but she's still all her composure and thing anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the first lady of dancer d'angel who is basically lashing out at her critics because basically she promote her lingerie line and you don't know she wear lingerie and them thing is it so she basically feel like the people them were bash her them now bash people like beyonce rihanna and them people were in a lingerie where promote them lingerie line and them thing is it me the Angel was very upset and she feel away way because the same Jamaican people in tear are down and thing is it so she make a post let me actually get to this post only can tell me if you agree or do you think that the angel should act a certain way because remember even when she did forward out and say she had to do the whole only fans thing people did a burn her out you know and say she's a mother and she's this and that and when you don't know the angel have a little um x-rated kind of saucy side to her as well as it anyway I could get to the post now. So she said, as a mother and a woman who represents body confidence and a farmer model that will never retire, by the way, I've decided to launch my very own lingerie collection, which embodied my motto, beauty is confidence. I've come to realize that each time I'm promoting my business, my own people is ready to disseminate. Ain't Rihanna, Beyonce, and a whole host of mothers in music and business doing lingerie, and so much more that y'all quick to praise and support. I'm saying this to say people will never support their own kind or want to see you win. Quick to judge and always try to send the wrong message messages to their personal gain. I'm rightfully unapologetically promoting my brand and I'll forever care zero about who likes what I do or anyone's opinion. Big up to every woman that's on a mission to win. Do not compromise or be discouraged. Let success be your best revenge. Now back to business. The three-piece lingerie set i'm wearing is also available in blue whatever whatever so if you don't want to see the lingerie set you can go upon the angel page and if you don't want to support her you can support her you see but she says something uh, in a way are true you know you see me a lot of persons them big up beyonce and rihanna and them people but when you try to do it them bring it down and them same people go over upon them same celebrity page and i big them up on them thing there which it definitely look away you understand what i say anyway my people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so the next thing we're gonna talk about is vibes cartel pulling up in mobi and you don't know the people i'm glad for see the entertainer you see it everybody want a picture everybody want take a video with cartel and you don't know cartel has show them support and glad for the love cars mobi has been a place where I always show vibes cartel holy for love so you know so it's only right for vibes cartel show them back some love on them thing they understand my people i believe i yesterday cartel go down there now i'm not 100 percent sure but me know say from last night I see the clips them start circulate. So I figure yesterday I'm going to go down a and thing. Anyway, I run them clips so you can see what I go on. You can see the lover car till I get down there. Is it? Mm -hmm. Yo, 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 yo. I'm going to do the right thing. Do the right thing. <laughs> Bro, 
You know how long I'm not forward, I'm going to be 13 years. Because they have me in a prison around there. But I'm free and everything clear. Yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. I'm hot. 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 Oh. Me like, me like shirt. I'm a kind of hurt. <laughs> 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 no, no, something about it, me like it. It's not a Reebok or a Nike, but you look like Versace. Yeah, me like it, though. No, no, me like it. Have a look at vibes to it. Where's this to them? A nice shirt, man. You don't like it? It's all, a, it's all like a white night a while ago. The boy is all like a you, man. <laughs> yeah man, so that's what's going on. Boy, the people them swam the man like as a prime minister, like the prime minister down there. <laughs> Men hang around there, but you know what's that's where it goes as it relates to vibes cartel. Anyway, him pull up crowd always just dead, you understand? And one thing my rate with vibes cartel, you know, is a man is like him now nah, ever say no to nobody who want a photo or a video. I have never seen cartel make up him face or go on. You know, you have some and every artist you can run up and ask a picture and photos and them thing there. You understand me I say but cartel are one of the artists them will always just make sure say yo once you know, a, a fan come to me and want a video or a photo. He ma, and one thing, he might go put in some rhyme in it. <laughs> you see, but anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel attorney Isaac Buchanan, who is now being criticized by the JLP. On top of that, the JLP are burn out the PNP them for actually put Isat for represent... They are the PNP in uh, East Portland. You understand what I say? So let me get to this story. Only can tell me anything because according to the labor right them, Isaac Buchanan have a criminal past and I guess he shouldn't be in politics. So only can tell me anything. All right. So the story is saying JLP slams PNP selection of Isaac Buchanan to run in East Portland despite criminal past. The Jamaica Labour Party JLP is criticizing the People's National Party PNP for its decision to select attorney Isaac Buchanan as one of its candidates for the upcoming general elections in light of Buchanan's previous criminal convictions. The PNP announced on Tuesday that Buchanan will represent it in the East Portland seat. In a media release on Wednesday, the JLP said in light of that decision, the PNP now has no moral authority to speak on matters concerning corruption, crime, or ethics. The JLP pointed out that Buchanan was convicted in Jamaica for possession of dealing in and taking steps to smuggle the white lady. You know what I call white lady, right? You know, I don't want to say the word. He was also sentenced to approximately 10 years imprisonment in a United States prison for similar DRUG smuggling crimes. While we believe in possible rehabilitation and redemption, Buchanan's recent crude, misogynistic and lewd remarks directed at senior female public servant and his description of some Jamaicans as ugly confirms his unbecoming conduct and poor judgment are not things of the past, the JLP said. The decision by Mark Golden led PNP which professes to have an integrity committee which vets candidates to confirm and endorse Buchanan reinforces the fact that PNP cannot be trusted with governing Jamaica. It continued Buchanan's past has been a point of contention with him being denied the chance to become a justice of the peace JP because of his criminal convictions. Buchanan had applied to the Custos of Kingston in January 27 to be a JP. However 
However, in May 2019, the Custos advised him that he and the advisory committee for the Custos had reviewed his application and decided that they would not recommend his commission as a JP on the basis that they were not satisfied that he was a person of unquestionable character. He was further told that information received by the Custos indicated that he had failed to disclose that he had previous criminal convictions while making the applications. Meanwhile, in December 2023, Buchanan was handed a two-year suspension by a disciplinary panel of the General Legal Council after he was found guilty of professional misconduct for offensive comments he directed at the country's chief prosecutor, Paula Llewellyn. He was granted a stay of the two-year suspension from practicing law pending the outcome of his appeal against the suspension period, which has been described as excessive. So that's what's going on, my people, as it relates to Isaac Buchanan. But when you think about the labor rights, I criticize PNP for put Isaac Buchanan for representing a East Portland. You understand? Um, well, if a criminal in a politics still, I mean, I go around here. Well, if a weed in need for do so, you don't know the thing. I mean, even 2 2 and get another world politics talk about. Let me know anything about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're going to talk about is Keisha Kayer, which is the wife of rapper Gucci Man, right? And you know, of course, she is from Jamaica and she actually have a talk show. I don't remember what name to be honest, but I know she did have spice on it recently, is it? So, a lot of persons speculate, say, you know, she forward out here for actually interview Vibes Cartel. I don't think a Freedom Street she have forward because Freedom Street are we are December the 31st. And I don't think she's going to be out here until that time. Maybe she'll go forward out here for that later down in the year. But anyway, she posted a particular video which hints at a possible interview with Cartel, even though she not call her name. But I don't know, why else would she be out here? Check out the clip here and we're also going to look on some of the comments they may see it. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Afternoon. It's Mrs. Davis. I'm feeling a bit islandy today. <laughs> In my country, my hometown, Jamaica. I have a surprise for you guys. Shh. Harold, you're on camera. Say hi. Hey, We're guys. Jamaica. We're working. Yes, We're working. work, work. Glam, glam, glam. This is my second look for the day, guys. I have so many surprises. Oh my goodness. Yeah, man. So over upon our page, one person say, I hope she's interviewing Vibes Cartel. That would be a great interview. Somebody say, yeah, go interview Vibes Cartel. Another person say, interview the world boss. Yes, it. So there's like a whole bunch of comments where persons feel like she's going to interview Vibes Cartel. And as Mr. she have her own program now, so it is definitely possible. You know, everybody want an interview with Vibes Cartel, is it? And I think it would definitely be a nice interview. So I could watch and see if that's why she's out here because she says she have a surprise and things. So I don't know. Anyway, my people, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Bounty Killer, who will be giving a donation to Lieutenant Stitchy, right? And by now, most of you already know, so Lieutenant Stitchy is currently hospitalized. You understand my people, but Bounty Killer does want to do what he needs to do or what he can do for actually, you know, play a part in relation to Lieutenant Stitchy road to recovery, as it? So Bounty Killer made a post on his Instagram page. You see me, you can see it on the screen. Bounty Foundation and manager Paul Banky Jisco monetary donation to Stitchy. Here's it, my people, and you can pause it if you don't want to read it. But anyway, in the caption, Bounty Foundation said, Bounty Killer, it's at the PAJ Limited, 78 Constant Spring Road, Kingston. The poor people governor, the man who is always and forever helping everyone in need, will be making a monetary donation to Lieutenant Stitchy. Go help the legendary artist who is currently in the hospital to recover. There is a place for people like you at Bounty Killer. Here's it. So that's what's going on. Bounty, they also make a that post him they post up as uh, um a song with stitchy or i should say a video zane and him basically say as the legend says let's fast and pray for his recovery anyone who is interested in helping can google stitches go for an account online it's dear folks amen yes it bounty also um 
I tell the people, if they're interested in donating to the foundation, how and where them can donate and stuff, you can go up on Bounty page for read up the full thing, is it? Big up Bounty Killer, who always are the good. Our day we see him give some things to Bellevue Hospital. The man is just a kind person, is it? Or him at least use him charity for do the works where it's supposed to be used for. Big up Bounty again. Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Bojo Bantan, whose Canadian visa has been reinstated and the entertainer is to perform there for the first time in what? 15 years. So, make we get to this story so I understand what's going on, is it? So it's a Bojo's Canadian visa reinstated. Artists are performed there for the first time in 15 years. Fans of veteran dancehall slash reggae artist Bojo Bantan, who have reportedly longing to see him perform live in Canada, will get a reprieve on Sunday, October the 13th. This, as Bojo Bantan recently acquired a Canadian visa, Bantan will take his The Overcomer tour to the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. In an interview with Jamaica Observer recently, Bantan said, the reinstatement of his Canadian visa would give him a chance to showcase the Jamaican culture. This means I have a chance to present the culture and Bojo Bantan to Canadians once more. Performing for the masses is always a joy, but Canada is a special place for us Maroons, Bantan explained. Bantan's last performance in Canada was at the Commodore Ballroom in Vancouver in 2009. His popularity in Canada saw him touring the country on multiple occasions over the years. Last year, his hit single Champion, which was released on Island Records in 1995, was certified gold in Canada by Music Canada after it reached a milestone of selling more than 40,000 units. Champion is featured on Bantan's RIAA certified gold selling album Till Shiloh. Bantan's The Overcomer Tour, which is produced by AG Touring, will feature reggae singer Grams Morgan as the opening act. Earlier this year, Bantan USV Visa was also reinstated or was reinstated, I should I say. So it's a good luck, my people. Big up Bojo Bantan. Congratulations. And once Bojo can go, well, the more places him can go, obviously, is the better for dance hall. Him can get for spread the thing on a wider scale. And I guess that's that is it. So big up Bojo Bantan once again. Congratulations. And yeah, let me know anything about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Shensia, who is once again addressing the NUDE photos that were circulating are the alleged photos, I should I say, but it look real, I don't lie. Even now, me even I wonder if it fit. That's how real it look. Anyway, I could get to that story here so I can hear what Shensia officer is it. So it says, Shensia shocked by debunk NUDE photos of her circulating. Shensia says she was shocked by the photos of her circulating on social media, even though she knew it was fake. The Jamaican singer became a trending topic on X a few weeks ago after photos of her hit the net. The images in question were rumored to be circulating in a group chat in Jamaica before one person in the group shared it online. Sources inside Shensia's camp said on Wednesday, October the 2nd, that she was caught off guard by the photos. Like all of us, she was shocked by that. I remember waking up Shensia trending and thought it was probably new music or something outlandish, she said, our source said. But then I remember seeing the photos and gasp. But then I remember seeing the photos of her similar to those where she had on clothes. So then I figured it was photoshopped or something. Shensia later reacted to the photos by sharing the original, proving to her fans that they were fake. She also shared a clip from which the doctored images were taken. The clip was shared on her Instagram story earlier this year. Why Ona never tell me say, them the thing they are share with me in a group chat might N-U-D-E eh, on a serious Shensia said in a video shared on her IG at this point on a gone to the dogs on a find the most ridiculous things to say Shensia called the persons behind the photos desperate while reminding her followers that she was never desperate for any attention me never yet desperate for attention all me do I mind my business take care of my son make my money and call it a day me I come from too far for this foolishness to jeopardize myself she 
said, furthermore, if this job ever lead me to a point where me get desperate for attention, me do the most outrageous thing, me prefer quit. In the meantime, Shensia is currently working on her third album due early next year. The dancehall body says the project is practically done and that she is just putting in some finishing touches. So that's what's going on, my people. You see, Shensia does want the people them once again for no say, yo, them the photos there. I never me, you understand me I say. Um them look real still enough people, man I like them they them look real. It almost made me wonder if she even had thought the truth. But we see the real photos them still enough, so you know we kinda can tell still, you see it. Anyway my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is footer hype calling out MC Nuffy and also taking credit for the MC getting booked at Vibes Cartel Freedom Street concert. So let us get to this story so now understand what's going on, is it? So it's a Futter Hype calls out MC Nuffy regarding Freedom Street concert booking. Futter Hype is not pleased with MC Nuffy's action since being confirmed for Vibes Cartel Freedom Street concert. According to Futter, instead of throwing shades at him, the MC should have thanked him for highlighting that he was not being acknowledged by Cartel and in return, Cartel confirmed him for the show. After weeks of waiting, MC MC Nuffy was finally confirmed a week ago by Cartel during an interview. He was asked on the Brenda Review show whether or not the fellow Portmore entertainer would be on the show. Cartel responded asking, who else could I call out Vibes Cartel? Now that Nuffy is confirmed, the outspoken selector who resides in America believe Nuffy will be on the show for ulterior motives and express his thoughts on the matter via his latest live stream. Cartel them does work with you for make you do the dirty work fear robot sting and styling instead of them have to directly do it it take footer eye for talk about cartel not acknowledge you for him acknowledge you cartel them i said to themselves say you know say this look bad them use you as a pawn he continued before me talk about you cartel no look pan you none of your comments them nor nothing at all footer outline he went on to claim that mc nuffy was not on the list for mcs according to footer hype initially Vibes Cartel did not care that the MC was not on the show. Him never business with you. If I never me, I'll know you not get a reply from Cartel. After me talk, when me talk, Cartel look pan you, said Futa Hype. Where anything, my people? When I feel like a Futa Hype really deserve the credit for MC Nuffy being booked, but I come out and say some things and him feel like that made Vibes Cartel actually start acknowledge MC Nuffy. I don't feel like say, MC Nuffy, them did I go use no matter what. You understand me I say only can tell me where you think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is Vibes Cartel who recently said free jack here you understand so cartel wanted dot system for free up the entertainer and thing so while cartel was working out you see me i must have on one of them i think a treadmill or whatever you want call a machine thing they see it he might do some workout he might actually just you know put out a little free jack here at the end of the conversation um yeah check out that clip here my people yeah man so that's what's going on we also see a vibes cartel you know change up the ear style upon them put out a fresh look and thing so that's what's going on with vibes cartel of course people are react to it because the photos them basically gone viral you know when time world boss put out none it basically go viral as it also me see a little clip with him and um what's she name him and see them yeah, see it. And now I see a clip my people. I can actually show you some of the clip and thing. You see it. See them, are, you know, I dance and I sing to um, straight jeans and fitted with him and Rush and my people. Check out that little clip here. Oh, oh, sick, lad. Yeah, yeah, man. Yo, 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 you think uh, you're easy, you know, baby? What was that one? Oh, no, that's um, me and Rush and straight jeans and fitted. Straight jeans and fitted? Yeah. In a white t shirt, I did it. Oh, what? Bob Buckler, they got Russian. Anyway, ready, baby. Got you. Oh, what? Yeah, man. So that's Vibes Cartel and Wifey enjoying themselves. <laughs> 
Nah, that is still, you know, cartel, you can tell you see, the man just love see them. You see it. Yo, you know, can't see the genuine love. So all our people, them, we just want to see cartel left see them. Why? I just can never understand it. But let me know anything about this in the comment section. Next thing we're going to talk about is a Jamaica Constable Air Force reacting to a youth named Cornerstone boss who put out a video. And the youth named Cornerstone basically I say, yo, he got through a little situation when he was what, 14 years old. You understand? A man must take advantage of him or something like that. And you don't know the way I'm attack is like he would have wanted to demand something. That's what I basically get from it. You understand, my people? But I play the clip and then I go show now what the Jamaica Constable Air Force had to say in response to Cornerstone Boss. Check out that clip here. And oh, I might have a beep out some of the words then because you don't know how YouTube this and I not run the risk. Watch this. Watch out. For your CPC, you know, Cornerstone Boss at top. I saw the video here and on a joke video. This is a video. Yeah. This is a video. Yeah. This is a video. Yeah. Serious video, Miami. Hear me, I say. The video is yeah, for Jamaica Constabulary Force. The police is a Lucy police station. From Lucy CIBC office to the one we don't, 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 so. You see, from headquarters to Lucy police station to Kingsdale police station. When me a 14 year old, one man named Alfred Buckingham, otherwise known as Martin, in camera, where you got orange beer, you miss me. I'm come back and tell you, I'm no, reporting to everybody. I tell the people I'm in my community and they laugh off of me and they mock me and a bag of things happen. You see me? CD end up here about you and CD send for me and send me go to homes. You see, I got caught one time in January 2015 and all them do I send me to go to homes and I get fit person order. I know that I got jail and I left jail when I was 18 and I come back around and I tell the people I say, yo, I want to get justice because this man carry me go do whatever with me. I'm going to get no justice for my thing. You see me? I'm going to as much time at over 10 years to solve the case. You see me? I could have killed myself. You see, I could have killed myself and I said, no, I want to do it the law way because they say, yo, for do things by the law. I try to seek help from Jamaica for justice. I try to seek help from all kind of people to get justice because it affects me. You see, but what? Show your man, them say, oh, a man blow, oh, what me I tell them this, you see, my pain, now I'm going to go so. Here, I have two daughters, and you see, right now, oh, me and me, I might be dead. But then now I'm going to know their father has no weak man, then I'm going to know their father is dead for what is right. Because you see, system, a system of feel of every youth, and I tell them this from my heart. You don't go come for me, and go go for me, but here, you know, something go happen. I'm not going to wait much longer for this to go no way. I think I'm going as much time. So, you boy Martin, and me go come for you. I'm not busy if I want to go for my father, my mother, or nobody. Just know, say, just know this. Me, I come for you. You boy Alfred Buchanan, aka Martin, who can't wait to go for me when I'm 14. Just know, stay your time, they're very near. I'm not talking about it, I'm not. Code up. All right, my people. So that video was shared over upon This Is A Blast page. And the Jamaica Constable Air Force left a comment saying, Good morning. We have seen the video on social media and we are very concerned about what has been reported. We do understand the sensitive nature of the matter of the report and have alerted investigators from the CISOCA and the Hanover Division to investigate the matter so that the complaint can have disclosure. I mean, can have closure and re Address. We have also reached out to the complaint, you see it. Yeah, my people, so that's what's going on, you see it. Also, with the city youth, Cornerstone posts up a um, photo with the man who him say do the actor or whatever. So, if you don't want to see it, only can go up on him, um, him Instagram page, you see it, Cornerstone underscore boss underscore official, you see it. So, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you see it. I'm out.